Um, hello, everybody that's following this channel. Supporters, views of uh, this channel and today. I hope you guys had a good afternoon, good day, said well, uh, whatever time you have. Uh, domestically, international, I hope you're having a good day. Um, and today I'll be doing part three of my collection here. Um, so, here I go. Thing. Uh, starting off with a good movie. Um, I'm going to make this into a series um, like this. That's a pretty good western from back in the day. Now, some of these may not be in order of, like, franchises, but, um, and, uh, back then, um, Disney, or actually Sony, actually had our work on the inside. It's pretty unique, though. So the next two are part of the part, excuse me, the next two are part of a franchise. Now, um, I have the other three, like different shelves, areas. So, again, it's not organized, but I do own, I do, <coughs> excuse me for a second, I do own all the Ramble films. Um, they're just in different areas. Um, yeah. They're fun action flicks. Uh, the first one was a drama, and it's pretty good, but um, the West are like fun action flicks. Um, I showed another one and that whole franchise during the last part. So, yeah. Uh, this is a good movie. It's a good creature flick uh, from back in the day. I had a bunch of hype, and it's good. Found footage from me. Um, yeah. I thought that was Kate Beckinsale. It was Jessica Alvum. Um. So. Basically in that era. Um. I don't know if this is a photo or something. I think Jessica Alvum is fine. She's all right, Alva. Um. I mean, so far in like four minutes, we're. Um, showing a lot of the movies, which is good progress, I mean, for these parts. No. Um, next one up is another Sword and Sandals films, film from the 2000s. Um, I haven't heard anything great about this movie, but I do want to check it out, and I heard the final cut is the better version out there. Um, even though it's longer, though. Now, uh, speaking of Underworld, uh, the first one is in this part. 
Again, I'll be doing numbers. Um, I'll be doing a bunch of different parts for this collection video, guys. Um, instead of doing like one long video showing it, I'm just going to do part one, part two, part three, part four, part five, part six, for example, and more parts uh, during the summer. So it's going to be a lot of fun watching these parts. Um, I haven't seen this movie yet. I heard kind of like mixed reviews about it, but um, I'll definitely check it out though. Um, it's like a fun action flick. Um, 2009, um, yeah, 2009, just like one of those cheesy flicks. That you just put on and you really enjoy. It's not, if you're an action fan, then it is, but if you're not, then maybe not. Who you knows? This one looks like a fun movie, too. Again, I didn't hear anything good about this film, but it just looks like a cheesy, fun movie from the 2000s. I don't know, maybe it's going to be fun, maybe it's going to be bad, maybe it's going to be mediocre, but there's that. Um, I did watch this movie, and I did read the book, and it's a pretty good book, and it's a great movie. Great survival flick. Really interesting, fun, imaginary, imaginative. And a dark and twisted some of the time too. But it's a really good movie and I highly recommend watching it. Um and I would highly recommend reading the book. Um, it's a pretty good book, so That's why for pie, pie there. Um, I haven't seen this movie yet. I think I seen the original back in the day with uh, Patrick Swayze. Um, I think it was a fun movie, but um, again, this remake probably isn't gonna be as good as the original, but. Um, hopefully it's a fun time. Just like a cheesy action flick from the 2010s. Now this is a great animated movie. Great Disney flick. Fun, imaginary. Imaginary. Um, gets kind of serious at times, but of all, a great fun movie. I'm not a fan of the stack disc, but it's whatever. It's just the content alone that makes the movie pretty good. It makes the Blue Way pretty good. Um, and plus, Blue Ways don't really scratch that often compared to DVDs. And again, really awesome just for the cover. Um, this is a great movie from 2012. Again, Ben Affleck does a fantastic job of this movie. Really tense, really flowing, but it's really worth it at the end. And incredible true story. Um, so, I would recommend watching it. Now, the next one up is one of my favorite Pixar films. 
excuse me for a second. One of the best Pixar movies. One of the best duos. Fun movie. Pretty sad ending, but again, back during Pixar's heyday. Um, early 2000s flick. Um, I love this movie. Um, Mosh Rank. Um, and uh, great characters, and the animation is great. The blue light transfer is pretty good on that. Um, yeah, I meant that. Um, next one up. Um, it's a movie I haven't seen yet. Looks kind of interesting. But, um, yeah, I don't know if this is good or not, um, but, um, it looks well made, so I'll check it out during one, one day, during the future, um, this was actually a pretty good movie, it's pretty interesting, um, I don't know if it's a coming of age movie, but um, it's a good drama, comedy, like, um, and um, it's an inspirational movie, I would say, even though, yeah, um, if you've seen this movie, if you've seen this movie for, you know, what is it about, but it's a pretty good inspirational film. Um, I don't think I've seen this movie before, but I heard this movie's pretty good. It's a good drama. I heard that, but I'm definitely looking forward to checking out, though. Um, looks like a heartwarming comedy drama. Or maybe it's just drama, though. But... Um, but it looks pretty good, so I'll check it out during one time in the future. During the future, actually. Uh, this is a pretty good movie. It's a fun movie. Kind of like a rom-com drama. Um, different cultures. But, um, it's a pretty good movie. Um... It was actually the biggest hit, um, one of the biggest surprises of 2018, um, and definitely deserves that, because it's a pretty good movie, um, I like it a lot, it's pretty cute, um, good rom-com. I'm not really into those rom-coms that much. It's not my genre. But um, if they put out like a good movie. From like a rom-com flick. I'll definitely check it out. Give it a try. And that movie's pretty good. So it's like. It's worth it. Um, good selection of shorts on this volume three. I'll be showing the other two volumes and uh, feature parts. And I hope you guys have fun this series. Um, I do try, um, I actually did try to do some collection videos like part one and part two in the past, but I kind of gave up because I was busy in life and I only did like a couple more parts, but this is gonna be a series for my channel and hopefully a fun one. 
Hopefully he's gonna get like a lot of views. Uh, this is a fun movie, a fun shark movie. I mean, it takes a while for the shark action to be coming up because it's like PG-13, but it's fun when it happens. The sequel will be in a much later part. Um, so I'll be showing that off during like one of the few last parts of this collection. Um, video series. Um, this is a pretty good sequel. I'm definitely looking forward to the third movie during the summer. It's my most anticipated film for the summer. Uh, Deadpool and Wolverine. But um, it's a pretty good sequel. Um, I think I like this more than the first movie, but the first movie is really good. It's a really fun movie. It's funny. But the second one has more jokes and it's a lot more fun. But I I like the Deadpool franchise. I really like the first two a lot. So hopefully I love the third one. The first one should be in, um, in a later part though. Um... Now, this movie is okay. Um, probably the weakest out of the whole franchise. Probably the most dumbest out of the whole franchise. Um, if you've seen this movie, then you probably know some of the character development and decision making. Just stupid, but it's kind of fun to just make fun of this movie. Um... And I kind of have fun with this franchise. I know it's not great, but the second one is probably the best movie in the whole franchise, to be honest with, with you. But this is definitely my least favorite. But you will see the other Purge movies and feature parts. But this is not organized, so it's, this collection is not organized by series and all that. So there's that. But okay, okay, home invasion movie, okay, horror movie, but it's not the best. Now, this movie was one of the most boring movies that came out during the past decade. Um, Will Smith is usually one of the most charismatic actors in the world, but in this movie, he plays a pretty dull character and I don't think it really helps when his son is much worse than him in this movie um yeah I didn't care for this movie that much but I got it for pretty cheap and I'm looking forward to checking it out again hopefully it's a better movie the second time around but I'm not looking forward to watching it but Hopefully the picture quality is really nice. Um, that's After Earth. Probably one of the worst Will Smith movies. Or actually the worst. Thinking about it. Um, um, I, sh I did show the Hangover Part 3. I mean Part 2 in the last part. So I'll be showing Part 3 in this part. Um... I haven't seen this movie yet. I only seen the first movie and that was hilarious. I didn't hear that the sequels were that great. So um, hopefully I can just check out the whole franchise. Um, you'll see the first one in a future part though. Again, my collection is not really organized by series or I would, um, or like, um, Um, or like A to Z collection. It's kind of like all over the place. Um, but, um, um, but 
and that's uh, 